The pump is located on the heater lines below the expansion tank reservoir as indicated by the red arrow. The pump is at one of the lowest places in the system, so you will need to drain the coolant to replace it. Please see the link at the end of this video for additional assistance. You'll also need to remove the expansion tank, so again see the link at the end of this video for further information. With the tank removed, you can access the pump and the heater hoses attached to it, red arrow. I have moved the air filter housing out of the way for photographic purposes only. You do not need to remove it to perform this job. Remove the connector from its bracket and unplug the connection. It simply pulls apart. Red arrow. Use a flathead screwdriver and remove the clamps and two hoses connected to the auxiliary pump. Red arrow. Even though you have drained the coolant system, there will be substantial amount of coolant that is still in the heating system that will now escape. Be prepared to catch it and either reuse it or dispose of it properly. Now is a really good time to inspect your hoses and replace as needed. The pump sits in a rubber mount to isolate it from vibrations. The pump can get corroded over time, so you may have to use a small flathead screwdriver or pick to help break the seal between the mount and pump. Then push the pump back and out from the mount, red arrow. You can now remove the pump from the vehicle. Installation is the reverse of removal, and don't forget to fill and bleed the cooling system. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.